All right, so let's make this countertop. How I would do it, I just get myself a cube. And depending on what I'm doing, I would uh, yeah, just take this knife tool. Well, actually, let me take this face. Scale it out. And then um, yeah, I would take a knife tool like this, cut it. It looks like it's like this. That cue to quit. Select these faces, delete that. Have this, delete that. All right, click, control E. And then I pull it out. So I have this. And then I do a control D. Ooh, pull this up. Select this. And then I would probably do the inverse. Always forget these shortcuts sometimes. Anyway, we'll have this, bring it down. There's T to scale. Oh, no, no, you know what? I'll get some vertexes. I'll pull it out like that. And then over here, I pull these out. And then I'll do a control E and then make this. And then now this will be my countertop. Remember center pivot. And that's my countertop now. Now for the rest of it, select this control D. Well, I could have modeled this out anyway, but let me just do this and then I'll do a select. Oh, you know what I could also do? I could just do it like this, hold down control and delete there. Just sometimes that inverse selection is good. Control E, pull this out. Center pivot, control D. Well, actually, if I made this and this looks good to me, I'll just do like this and do a bevel edge. Then I'll hold down control, I'll fit it in there, go to this. And all right, scale. So just scale this in a little bit. So this is the quick, easy way to do this. Fraction, two or more. Now I have this. Control D. Push this one over here now. Um, select both of these. Control D. Like this. Um, if I do a Control G to put them in a group and then center the pivot and hold down J. Now I can do this. I can take these, pull these over here. And then maybe take a knife selection. And this should like not be flush with this, you know? So just pull it over a little bit like this. You to quit. Faces, control E, pull this out. Pull it out a little bit more, right? These look kind of thinner to me. So I'll do this. Take this one, go get this vertex, pull it in a little bit, and then I'll do control D. Control D.
No, I do. I'll just scale this like this real quick. Just to do it. Control D. I mean, of course, you can model these drawers a little better. I'm just kind of BSing it right now. But here's the thing, you can BS in this, and if it looks good, then you win, you know? It's the thing about 3D, because a lot of it's like tricks anyway. Well, not a lot of it, but depending on what you're doing, you can cheat certain things. Like right now, I'm not even, I mean, I could just look at the reference and make that true to the reference, but I'm just messing with it right now. All right, so we have that, and then I have one more of these, Control D. And then now I just take my vertexes over here and then pull them like this. All right, and now for this top part, we're gonna do our old friend bevel, select all the edges, shift right click, bevel edge. Segments, two, three, Q to quit. And I'll just select all these, shift right click, bevel edge. Two. And there we go. So even if the bevel is thin and small, it still makes a difference. It's still better than it being like sharp. All right, now we have our wall, right? So let me do this. I'll take this. You have this, pull this up. Let's go get this face and over here. And then what we'll do is we'll delete all these. Put this face right here. Get knife tool. Slice, 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 slice. Remember if our square is too too much, we could just make it like this. Let's move it to this reference. And pull it up. And then we'll do a, uh, oh yeah. So to punch the hole in the wall and delete this, right click, control E and pull this out. Or we could, you know, pull it this way and then just push it over if you feel more comfortable doing that. But just so you know, if we did do that other way, so that was one way to do it. But let's say I did uh, just push it out this way. Remember, all we have to do is this, right click, go to faces, double click on the faces, shift right click, face normals, reverse normals. Now we got this. Cool. Now I'll go ahead and get this knife tool. Quit, it's like this, shift, double click. And we have this whole thing that I can do control E, hold down control, go to thickness. And now we can get this like little ledge area. And then we're done with that. Well, I could have like kept that extra face, but for real, for real, I'll just go get this cube. I don't know why, I usually just take, take cubes. I don't really do the whole uh, plane thing. I have no idea why. I just usually take a cube and just like size it up. 
I mean, in the end, it doesn't really matter that much as long as it's in there. And then it doesn't matter how big this is as long as it's, you know, fits over the frame. So we got this, five, Yeah, got that. And then for other wall, remember, we could just so it's cute. Oh, you know what? Let me just do it the, the way that I think the pros, there's some pro watching this. You're like, why is he doing that? So let me just do this. I'll rotate it, hold down J. And then put this over here. You know what? I don't need all these segments though. Now I just take this, whoa, pull it over. And then I'll put this wherever I think a refrigerator would be. Well, we use my refrigerator as a measurement. So let me go over here. Something like this. Okay. So then we have this. And control E. Let's give us some thickness, remember. Q to quit, double click. Face normals, reverse normals. Now we're there. And that's how I'd make that countertop. Oh, well, this L-shaped counter and then the countertop. 